Okay, welcome. In this video, we're going to go over how to convert a single differential equation into a system of differential equations. And in this case, as you see here, we have a second order differential equation, but this does work for the nth order differential equations that you may encounter, nth order being like a, a differential equation of order n. In this case, uh, we're again looking for a system of first order. So first I'll go over what that form really looks like. So again, we have x prime is equal to ax. In this case, x and I guess x prime as well, they are vectors of functions. And a here is a matrix. I believe it's always going to be a square matrix. So what this really then translates over to, if you, uh, I'll just draw this for the two by two case, uh, because this is what we're going to see. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll draw this. So in this case, we can break down x prime into the component functions. So x1 prime and x2 prime. And this is going to be equal to some matrix. I'll just uh, give arbitrary entries, so A, B, C, D. And then times X, which again is just X1, X2. So our overall goal here is to eventually get our, or convert this effectively into something like this. And that's kind of our end goal. So what we'll do first is we'll set uh, some variables. So again, X1 and X2 are the um, kind of variables that we're going to use. First, we're gonna set X1 is equal to u. And then x2 is going to equal to u prime. So the general rule for this is, let's say if we had an x3, this would be equal to u double prime, and then so on and so forth. But in this case, because it is order 2, we're going to stop once we are at this point. So you're going to have n minus 1 uh, variables. So uh, basically x1 to xn minus 1. OK. From here, we can then take the derivative of both sides here. So we have x1 prime is equal to u prime. But what we also then notice is that x1 prime is also equal to, uh, to x2. Right. Second, we can then do the same thing over here. So we have x2 prime is equal to u double prime. But if we look over here, we have an equation for this and we're able to isolate for u double prime. So we'll do that over here. So u double prime plus 0 0.5 u prime uh, plus 2u, which is equal to 0. And then here we're going to isolate for u double prime. So u double prime. And then I'm just going to write it in order. All right, I'll just write it directly here. So negative 0 0.5 u prime minus 2u. So again, just moving these two terms over here to the right side of the equation. From here, what we then notice is that we're able to replace u prime and u with x1 and x2 respectively. So in this case, we can rewrite this, or might not be respectively, I don't remember what order I just said that in. Uh, but regardless, here we have that x1 is equal to u, and we have that x2 is equal to u prime. So replacing them and then just writing them in like x1 to x2 order, we have negative 2 x1 minus 0 0.5 x2. x2. So what we then can conclude over here is that x prime, x2 prime, sorry, is going to equal to negative 2 x1 minus 0 0.5 x2. Okay, so things are already taking shape now. We notice that uh, if we do have these equalities here, we have that x1 prime is equal to something only in terms of x1 and x2. Same thing with x2 prime. Something It's equal to something only in terms of x1 and x2, which is exactly what we're looking for on this right side, because you can expand um, this right here if you just do matrix, matrix vector multiplication, and then you'll get something like ax1 plus uh, bx2. And in this case, we're basically just trying to match these two into this kind of form over here. So with this in mind, we can then write this as a system. So uh, writing this as a vector first, or you know, we'll write it as a system first. So I have this pre-drawn here because I'm not that consistent with drawing this. So first we have x1 prime. And just so that we're able to kind of see things, I'm going to write zeros wherever we don't have the variable present. So in this case, x1 prime, we only have x2. So I'll write 0 x1 plus x2. And then for x2 prime, we do have both variables. So I'll write them in. So we have negative 2, I'll write this 0, 
negative 2, x1, minus 0 0.5, x2. But of course, uh, we do remember what we learned in linear algebra. We are able to convert this into a system, uh, something like what we have over here. So what this then becomes is as follows. So we have x1 prime, x2 prime. This is equal to, and then we can again kind of imagine these entries here as the entries of the matrix. So these coefficients here would be the entries of our matrix. So we have 0, 1, then negative 2, and negative 0 0.5. In this case, I'll move this one a bit over. And then this is multiplied by x1, x2. Of course, I do encourage you to verify this on your own, but if you do expand this, you will get effectively the system back. Because again, we know that x1 has to equal to whatever uh, this is multiplied out. Uh, yeah. So from there, we are basically done. We have our equation exactly as a system of differential equations here. So first order. Uh, and again, this right here is a first order. This also here is a first order. Uh, but yeah, perfect. Thank you for watching.